Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all integers n greater than or equal to 2, n to the power of n is greater than n factorial. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following preliminary result. Given any two positive real numbers a and b, and any integer m greater than or equal to 2, we have that a plus b to the power of n is greater than a to the power of m plus b to the power of n. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, since we're trying to prove a statement about all integers greater than or equal to 2, let's use induction. So we'll start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to 2. Now, of course, 2 squared is greater than 2 factorial. 2 squared is just equal to 4, and 2 factorial is just equal to 2. And of course, 4 is greater than 2. So writing this up, we have that 2 squared is equal to 4, 4 is greater than 2, and 2 is equal to 2 factorial. So we see that 2 squared is greater than 2 factorial. So we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to 2. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary integer greater than or equal to 2, where this is true. The whole goal now is to show that this is also true for n plus 1. So really, we want to show that n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1 is greater than n plus 1 factorial. And I'm going to start out by writing the right-hand side. Now, n plus 1 factorial is really just n plus 1 times n factorial. And by our induction hypothesis, n factorial is less than n to the power of n. But if we take both sides of this inequality and multiply by n plus 1, we get that n plus 1 times n factorial is less than n plus 1 times n to the power of n. So this must be true. Now, of course, n to the power of n is less than n to the power of n plus 1. And if we take this inequality and multiply n plus 1 on both sides, we get that n plus 1 times n to the power of n is less than n plus 1 times n to the power of n plus 1. So this must be true. But of course, 1 is equal to 1 to the power of n. If we take a to be n, b to be 1, and n to be n, then this fact tells us that this is true. Let me just flip this inequality around. But then if we take this inequality and multiply n plus 1 on both sides, we get this. So this must be true. But then this is just equal to n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. So we see that n plus 1 factorial is less than n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. So we have shown that this is true, where instead of n, we have n plus 1. And that was the whole goal of the induction step. So this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, we have by mathematical induction that for all integers n greater than or equal to 2, this is true. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.